Uh, well, welcome to the CGM podcast, uh, where we talk about uh, conversations and discussions. We have dialogue and many different uh, practical ways about how you can grow in your faith and grow in the likeness of Jesus Christ. And today we have a little bit of a different conversation, but a special conversation with uh, my good friend Eddie Espinoza here, who serves as our director of operations. Uh, but we're going to be discussing our Espanol campus and the launch that is coming up very, very soon. Hey, well, we want to welcome you today uh, just to a conversation that uh, we want to bring you along in because um, we're not sure if you're aware of this or not, mm -hmm. uh, but we have started a brand new ministry sure here have. at Green Acres, and it's our uh, Espanol ministry. And mm -hmm. so this is Eddie Espinoza, mm -hmm. our director of operations, but uh, our, our connoisseur of all things, <laughs> like anything that's needed at the church, Eddie's in charge of it. And so that's right. Eddie, welcome uh, today, <laughs> man, brother, uh, gl you, glad to have you. Uh, but I just want you to just fill us in. Uh, what What's going on? with our Spanish ministry and where are we at right now? Sure, so so we've been talking about dreaming about being able to, how can we effectively reach uh, the Hispanic community? Uh, you know, Pastor, over 21% of the entire population of Tyler Just are Hispanic. Right here, Just right here, door, right. that's right. And so, and so uh, as we've talked through, we, we've come up with a, a plan, so to speak. We prayed through things and, and four weeks ago we launched uh, a Spanish uh, connect group, yeah. and uh, uh, each week that's been growing as we continue to pray and seek uh, God's man to lead that Hispanic uh, church. Yeah, so uh, right now we're kind of forming that core group, that's uh, right. growing as a connect group uh, with the expectation and the anticipation of launching a campus. That's right. An Espanol campus. And so uh, we're in the middle of the process of trying to find that campus pastor. Mm -hmm. You alluded to that. Um, so right now, what are what are our next steps that we're trying to really um, do in, in helping launch that campus? Sure. I think right now probably the most important thing is that we want to get that word out. Yeah. You know, we're, yeah. we're meeting uh, Sunday mornings at 945 in the Crosswalk building on the second floor mm -hmm. and really encouraging uh, our members uh, to let people know, let people know that as we encountered uh, folks who are Hispanic, that there's a great place that they can go and get plugged in. Yeah. So tell me this, Eddie, um, what is the age target or demographic? or do we even have one, or is yeah. it just anybody yeah. can come? I think anyone can come. You know, our, our, we're trying to move towards really reaching second generation uh, Hispanics that, yeah. that uh, obviously love their culture, uh, but also kind of know, know English and, or speak English and have their kids, you know, connected through uh, the school uh, um, programs already so that they can tie into our awesome children's ministry or youth right. ministry tie into what the church is already doing because uh, I think, you know, our church uh, does it better than any. And so uh, we want to be able to take advantage of that right. and then allow them uh, to be able then to study the Bible and then to worship right. uh, in, in Spanish. Right. And, you know, I love that model, Eddie, because, we, you know, we already have so many resources as a church, why, right. you know, there's no need to try to create another uh, avenue of resource in yeah. a different area when we already have it built right here, such Correct. as kids ministry, student ministry. That's right. um, and so, but you just, you, you talked about this a little bit, but what will the future service, man, when we are blowing and going, mm -hmm. all right, it's launched as a campus, just give us some insight. What will that look like? So you said, It'll be speaking Spanish. It'll be Spanish speaking service. Mm -hmm. Is right. that is that true? Talk a little bit yeah. about what the service so, will yeah, look so, like. Yeah, so you know we're we're still in the developmental process, but you know we can see a service uh, that would be the preaching would be in Spanish, awesome worship, uh, pro maybe some bilingualism in the worship, right? Uh, um, uh, but really excelling uh, in that area, and then tying into our existing programs, right? So if somebody wants to get involved right now, what do they need to do? 
well, um, uh, ideally show up a Sunday morning, uh, 945, 945. Uh, over in the Crosswalk building. Mm-hmm. We're in Crosswalk C, which is the back half of the Crosswalk Conference Center. Yeah. Uh, so if you come in our church, mm-hmm. uh, I tell people this all the time, if you come in and you know where the Connections Cafe is, just go right upstairs, correct. Uh, right above the Connections Cafe, and mm-hmm. that's where you guys are meeting, that's correct? That's where we are, okay. correct, yep. yeah. Uh, uh, or uh, you, they can contact me direct, directly with some questions at 903-525-3277, okay. and I'd be glad to answer any questions uh, that they may have. That's great. So we need people uh, engaging in this group. We, we need people helping us spread the word mm-hmm. about this group. Um, but as a church family, um, we just covet your prayers That's right. uh, because um, we are about one thing here at Green Acres, and that is transforming lives with the truth of Jesus. And if 21 percent of our population mm-hmm. is uh, Hispanic and uh, some speaking Spanish, some speaking English, That's listen, right. we want to make a spot where every single person feels welcome right. uh, here at Green Acres. And and I tell people this all the time. Listen, the, the church seems large. Uh, but it gets really small when you start getting in these groups and things like that. Mm-hmm. And I'm telling you right now, uh, there's a place for you. I mean, right That's here. Right. Uh, it doesn't matter of your cultural background, your ethnic background, uh, any language barriers. We are working diligently to overcome right. any barrier uh, that would prevent you from being a part of our church family. And so uh, any final thoughts or words? Eddie? No, I'm, I'm just thrilled that yeah. our church... Uh, wants to reach Amen. the community. Amen. You know, that is that is super exciting for me, and I think it's reflective of the gospel. Amen. Amen. Hey, if you're going to be a gospel-centered church, mm-hmm. uh, we're going to have a gospel-centric understanding of our mission, right? right? And that is that all people everywhere need this same hope that you and Amen. I have today. Amen. And so, church family, we love you. Keep praying as we continue uh, to reach people for the sake of Jesus Christ. Hey, thanks for listening to today's episode and joining in on our conversation. If you liked what you heard or you want to know more about Green Acres, go check out our website at GABC.org or follow us on Instagram at GABC underscore Tyler. Have a great day.